Um, first, I did uh, went to uh, Norway and I did apply for asylum there, but they told me that my visa f- issued in uh, Spain, so I have to go to the country that I did issue the visa from because there's an agreement, like a Dublin agreement, and I have to go there. So I did ask after a few months that, okay, I'm going to Spain. So I did ask if uh, the authorities in uh, Spain, they know about my arrival there, and they told me in Norway, yes, they know. But uh, unfortunately, they didn't know anything. I just arrived to the airport, and uh, uh, the authorities in the airport, the police, I mean the Spanish police in uh, in the airport, uh, they didn't know what to do. They just gave me my passport, and they told me to, I can go anywhere I want. Actually, they are like they didn't know anything about it, and uh, I just uh, because I have a, a my friend and she had the same experience with me, and she called me and she said, "If you go to Spain, just go to the Red Cross because in the airport they don't know anything, especially in Alicante and this kind of places, not in Madrid, so they don't know anything." And yes, this is what happened when I went there uh, in Norway. I don't know it's a lie or something, but they didn't. Uh, they w- there was no links between Spain and Norway for this. So I went to the Red Cross uh, yeah, directly. I went to the Red Cross and I, I, I told them that uh, where I came from and, uh, and things, and they, are, they told me that this is typical and this is happening every time someone comes from Europe to, uh, to Spain under the Dublin case. We don't know anything about them, and we just receive the, the, the people. Yeah, Red Cross helped me in the first to apply for the asylum and to go to the police, and they made like a contract with me that they will take care of me like six months. And I did sign this uh, agreement, and it was really a six months, mm-hmm. not more. <laughs> For me, until now, I don't know, because I'm like two years and something, like two years and two months here in Spain. And after the six months, I don't know what's happening in my case. I don't know really what's happening. I'm just renewing the card, and that's all what I'm doing. And I'm like two years. And after six months, when the Red Cross told me that I need to take care of myself, so I felt that. I was an asylum seeker and I uh, ending like a refugee in Spain. I don't have anything, no land, nothing, no even a camp, so I don't know. Until now, I don't know what's happening. We, we come to Europe because what's happened in our countries, you know, it's destroyed. And at least I need to be something, like I need my name. I'm like, I'm, until now, I'm a number. And I don't know what's happening. I'm a number, I'm, 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 I'm without anything. Uh, we have thoughts too, we need to do things, we have work that we're thinking of, studying things, but until now I cannot do anything. I'm like uh, stand by, waiting what will happen in my file, that's all.